Hi everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass and I am a targeted individual. Now for those of you who do not know what a targeted individual is, is I will tell you. A targeted individual is someone like myself who has been chosen through some diabolical and unknown means to be used for human experimentation human experimentation into mind control social control MK ultra style LSD dosing more gallons electromagnetic mind control counterintelligence program gang stalking infiltration drugging uh, blacklisting electrocution poisoning gassing slander libel and eventually death so I was sitting here eating a piece of bread and realizing that I was getting this tremendous headache um, and I can never tell whether my headaches come from too little food, not enough sleep, too much more gallons, or whether there's someone in the control room just pushing the button going and giving me a headache. You know, um, I'm ready. MK Ultra style programming, um, drugged with hypnotic, hallucinogenic, but hypnotic trance inducing drugs so that the direct to brain remote neural connection can be used to uh, inculcate the programming methodologies the MK Ultra style MK Ultra MK mind control programming now I have found that uh, not only have I become even more attuned to my subconscious I have a pretty good idea of what my subconscious contains and I know that my subconscious interprets uh, or rather sees everything it takes in information uh, whether it interprets it or not uh, it's a different story so anyway uh, after this um, extreme traumatic experience of you know several years of being drugged and stalked and electrocuted etc 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 deep hypnotic suggestion pre and post hypnotic suggestion was placed somehow subliminally or otherwise and now I find that whenever there is an extreme emotional uh, experience frustration anger fear, sadness, um, that my first reaction is programming kicks in, you should kill yourself Timothy, and my brain says yes I should kill myself, that'll be the way out of this, I won't have to suffer anymore if I just kill myself. Of course my counter programming the one that I put in place says, No, Timothy, this is not an appropriate response to emotional agitation and discomfiture. Appropriate response is to allow the emotions to pass, analyze the situation, find out what the transactional analysis was, what was your part, what was their part, what can be changed, what can't be changed, what must be accepted, what can you compromise on, etc., etc., etc. The next objection 
programmatically is, I'm sorry, Timothy, but theologically, you don't believe in suicide. You believe in a life after death. You believe in an eternal soul. You believe in a creator that created you and all things living in this universe. So, you must realize that taking your own life it's probably not what your creator intended for you. Now, this whole what happens when you die thing has really sort of got me because I'm watching myself <laughs> die slowly because of this treatment. Morgellons, uh, mind control, organism, abuse, microwave, radiation, attacks. Um, I have found that uh, that I forget a lot of stuff. <laughs> I forget what I was saying. I forget what I was doing. I forget what I was thinking. So uh, that's one of the big things of Mark Allen's. Basically, they're giving the entire population through chemtrails spraying this Mark Allen's organism disease, dysfunction, whatever you want to call it. It's my belief that probably the entire population has received some dose of this by now. I have no way to verify this. You'd have to go and test yourself with the red wine grape juice uh, test. But um, it's my belief that uh, the whole population has this. And um, uh, here's something I was thinking about. Uh, this is kind of interesting, actually. I was very upset by this whole gun control thing because uh, although I I abhor killing, uh, I do believe that every citizen of any country has the right to own and bear arms, and that the Second Amendment, that big thing that all us gun on gun owners are are talking about. Uh, was here to protect us from just such a thing like government who wants to take away our guns and do things to us that we may not want them to do. Same reason we wanted our independence from King George. So I was reading some stuff about how Obama, our commander-in-chief, is working with the United Nations, supposedly, to bring about some type of gun control, international weapons control. Um, in other words, the United Nations would be used to pass legislation that because the United States signed on to the United Nations would be uh, forced to follow. The United Nations could stipulate that all countries must pass in their guns. That people must go to their local police or military station with their guns within X number of days and drop them off or have their doors kicked in. Soldiers drag them out of bed, take their guns and drag them off to jail. Now the UN will be used to uh, pass this law and the United States will have to follow it because we're part of the United Nations. Uh, that's one way to take an end run around the Constitution. Now, all this stuff that people were talking about, Obama is the Antichrist, you know, I sort of just put that in the, in the circular file and said, yeah, okay, whatever, man. But um, I've been actually listening to a lot of this revelations and, um, you know, what's supposed to happen in the, the biblical prophecy of Obama and the whatever, the Antichrist, la 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 la. So they're saying that the Antichrist is supposed to come as a man of peace, and he's supposed to uh, bring the nations together um, under a banner of peace, and forcing the world to put away their guns, or rather give up their weapons of self-defense, their weapons of hunting, of survival, uh, give them up under the United Nations Treaty of, you know, whatever, um, that would be like peace, you know, a false peace. I don't know, it just sort of fit for me. Um, I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. 
my cat is uh, eating into the bag of rice and potatoes and <laughs> stuff that I've have hidden away uh, for the yet the third time. He seems to like dried potato fluff all over the place, so I'm gonna have to stop this recording and go and stop him. Um, you can see over time the the dead. You know what's happening to me. I'm uh, I'm finding it difficult to have coherent thought. I'm finding it difficult to uh, make a full sentence. Part of it is because I have music on in the background that that's garnering my attention. I don't know. <sighs> anyway, thanks for listening. God bless us all.